Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is David and today I'm going to walk you through another Kajabi tutorial. In this one, we're going to be talking about the website builder. It's going to be a short video The CrossFit Games are on and I want to get back to see how they're doing. Matt Frazier dominated event one as expected, but okay, let's jump into Kajabi. So when you log in, this is kind of what you're going to see right when you get in. Obviously, it'll be your own website. And along the left hand side here is kind of the website builder and I'm going to walk you through the different pieces that are available to you. You'll see I used some of them differently than they probably should have been used because I was ex experimenting when I was first getting started. All right. So the first kind of sub tab there is design and this is where you think of like the normal things you can do to build a website. So here's your home page. Next is library which is you know what your student or members would see when they're logged in. Next is the store. You can make this public or not public. This is where you would post your offers. So again, I'm gonna be doing a separate video that talks about products and one that talks about offers because they are different things. And so how you use them, there's some creativity you can do there. All right, next is the simple login page, a static page. Now, as you can see, I'm using this for terms of use. If you go to I believe it's settings and then yeah over here static pages that's where you can actually build multiple static pages like a uh, privacy policy earnings disclosure disclosure things like that uh, below that we have a thank you page thank you pages are usually custom to whatever funnel you're building so even though it has a thank you page here um, usually you build each one specifically to like the funnel and program that you're building Next is the 404 page. There's not a ton of customization options in here. There, like you can't even, let me open it up. You couldn't even add a second link besides the back to home. So that's why like I posted one of the links that I know my uh, viewers are gonna wanna see. So that was a little disappointing, but otherwise like it has everything else you would need. Now, before I do these last three, I'm gonna jump over to the next piece, the page builder. And this is going to show you more detailed about how you actually customize a page. So I'm going to scroll down to my books page. And this is one of the ones that's public. It's on my toolbar, the navigation bar at the top. And I just want to show you. So like this is the basic analytics for you. But if you go in and customize it, do do do. This is going to show you how they actually have a drag and drop system to make your page. So let me zoom out a little bit. Do do do. Okay. So you can see I have a bunch of books here and all of these are actually, let's see if it shows it, do, 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 different blocks. So pages or Kajabi pages uses a block feature. So you see over here, each one is a different feature and I can actually move the books around. I think this is this one, you see, just by doing that, which is really cool. So I can. So you can do this on every single page. You can customize what blocks are available. So if you go to add section, you can see, um, you know, when you're in a course, you could add like assessment and so on. In your blog, you can add sidebar options. For most pages, you probably won't use all of this, but all of these options are on all of your pages. So if you're making like a sales page, for example, and you want to show testimonials through Facebook comments, that's an option you can do there. Different events, features, heading, hero, image, image gallery. I'm not going to walk you through every single one of these, but you can just see you have a ton of options. And again, these are all blocks. So within each block, let me go back to one of the blocks I already have. So at the bottom, I have like a call to action block. So I'm going to open that up. And now here's the option to customize everything. So the heading, subheading, buttons of the blocks, where it goes. I'm still building it out. That's why it has like a generic URL. Button size, button style. All of these are contained within this single block. And so you can customize different blocks on different pages. You can set a standard so that across your website there's consistency. Um, there's just a lot of like cool things you can do with it. And it's, it's so nice to use. You know, I've used like Squarespace in the past. They have a similar kind of block system where you can move things around. WordPress is depending on, you know, what theme you're using with WordPress, they're usually a little clunkier to move things around with. Yeah. I don't want to save those changes. All right. And so that's just an overview of what you can do with the different pages. And again, those features pretty much apply to everything on here. So again, the home page is a page. And so what I've built, 
let's go ahead and just go to that page real quick. What I've built on it are all separate blocks. So you see this is a block, this is a block, 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 so on and so forth. Um, and it just makes it really nice to move things around. All right, going to the blog. Really simple, if you've used WordPress blogs before, it's pretty much the exact same setup. I'm gonna go ahead and go inside a post here so you can see a lot of the standard options. If you scroll to the bottom, they already have an SEO option built in, which is super useful. And yeah, there's not too much to say. If you've written blogs before, a lot of this is really standard. Again, you know, you can pop up, you have a full text editor in here. All right, jumping over to analytics. Again, this is a new website. I, I haven't sent my traffic over here yet, but this is where it would capture a lot of your stuff. There is like another analytics form within Kajabi that has a lot more detail than just this, but this is just kind of like a broad overview of your analytics. So jumping back to design, that's that. Oh, I wanted to show you, I'll show you both of these. So manage themes, so again, most Kajabi websites look the same. That's just because when I show you the theme options, um, see a lot of them are pretty standard. If you scroll down to legacy themes, that's when you get a little bit more variety. Again, for what I'm trying to do and what most people are trying to do, which is you know build a home base for their business, for their author brand, for the course that they're building, all of these work really well. And each one, even though like these previews look really the same. Um, when you're inside, the blocks and the pages and so on have very different options. So it's worth exploring to see that. But if you want a little bit more variety, then definitely the legacy themes are for you. If I go back and this should take me to navigation. So you know, navigation, when I talk about that, I'm talking about the tabs, the options, the buttons you have at the top of the screen that show both for you as the admin, that show for people who are not logged into your site, and then for people who are logged into your site. You have, within Kajabi, you have control over all of that. So you can show you know, your students a whole bunch of tabs that they just wouldn't have access to otherwise. And so like right now I'm logged in under my admin account. That's why you see my little profile picture in the corner there. So you can customize all that. This should take me right there, yeah. So navigation menus. So your footer menu, main menu, you can add sub menus on blog sidebars or within different pages. And again, it's real simple. You can add links, you can add pages that you've already built out. It's all very intuitive, <laughs> intuitive um, and simple to use. So yeah, that's an overview of the Kajabi website builder platform. Just of showing you a few of the options you can use. It's definitely one of my favorite website tools that I've used before. Again, I've used things like WordPress and Squarespace. I've tried out the free platforms. Kajabi is just a really intuitive tool, and that means a lot when I don't want to spend the bulk of my time fixing a website. I want to do my writing, my courses, and so on. And so if you're looking for you know, just a really powerful tool that's not going to take a whole lot of time to master, that's why I'm making th these tutorials, to help uh, see if it's a good fit for you. All right, so again, I have some links below in the description. Go ahead and check those out if you want some more information about what I'm doing, what Kajabi is. And again, if you have any questions or are looking for a specific tutorial about Kajabi, uh, go ahead and write it in the comments below. I'd be happy to do that for you. All right, so thank you again for watching and I'll talk to you later.